want to welcome everyone to our first ever live meditation on the Awareness, Courage, and Love Global Community Leader Platform. I'm so excited that you're joining me for this occasion. It's really special for us because we've had this dream of bringing together an international community for a very long time, and it's finally coming to fruition. It's just so meaningful that you're joining us for the first meditation. And I want to thank Anya, who's been working so tirelessly behind the scenes to help implement this platform. And I also want to thank our board members, Holly and Graciela, who've been just so supportive and working with us. And then all of you who are part of this community who just joined this weekend as we opened our platform. So I just want to acknowledge the feelings that you've written in chat, excitement, grateful, connected, overwhelmed, sadness, complicated, sadness, complicated, anxious, restless, pleasant, buzzy feeling in body, pleasant sense of anticipation, expectation, excitement, still landing, tired, peaceful, after a busy day, calm. Tired. So I just want to welcome all of you and all the feelings that we're having. And I want to say hello to all of Sheila's students. Welcome. It's really wonderful to have you here with us. Some of you are very special to me and some of you I'm meeting for the first time. There's something very wonderful about meditating in a group setting. I've meditated a lot individually and I've meditated a lot in group settings and there's something about the connection in a group setting that really connects us and elevates us. So I'm just going to invite you to settle into your chairs right now. And feel into your breath, your inhale and exhale. Noticing the rise and fall of your breath. Finding a rhythm that's your own. See if you can feel a sense of ease in your breathing. Allowing your breath to breathe you. And as you breathe, I invite you to turn your focus to your heart. Just noticing all the feelings that are there. Many of you wrote some feelings in chat. Excited, restless, tired, sad, complicated. There's 
a lot going on in the world that's very, very devastating. It's hard not to be impacted. So allow yourself to feel whatever is in your heart. Greeting what's there with tenderness. sense of inviting, allowing, and what's it like for you to move from the continuum of allowing to embracing? And wherever you are, whatever you're feeling, it's okay. There are no demands here, no expectations. Wherever you are, whatever you're feeling, you're welcome here. I'm going to invite you to see if you can expand your feelings. No matter what you're feeling right now, is it possible for you to tap into a sense of light inside yourself. A place where you're in touch with what's special about you. A place that feels gratitude. Love. If you can, Allow this place of light within you to grow bigger. So what does it feel like to tune into your light? Tune into your light during really stressful times. And if you're struggling, that's okay. you would like, you can place a hand on 
where it is that you feel your light in your body. And know that wherever it is that you are and however it is that you're feeling your light or not, You're such an important person in this community, in our awareness, courage, and love community, and in your own communities. And that you can really bring your light to others. And that more than ever, it's important for you to bring your light, to feel your light, to bring your light to others. Very gradually, as you're ready, Turn your attention back to your breath again. And gently, gently bring yourself back to this space. I had posted this as a 15 minute experience. And if you need to go, please leave. But if you could write in chat before you go, and if you want to stay for a few minutes to connect and talk about your experience, that would be wonderful. You can write about it in chat or talk out loud, but I'd, I'd love to hear what came up for you when you were tapping into your light. The feel is peaceful, Nina, wonderful to feel my light when there's so much darkness in the world. Yana and Dublin, that was so beautiful. I've never intentionally connected to the sense of light within me. Mm. Rachel, expansive, grateful, loving. We have two Yanas, gave me more space. Kayla, Nate, and Tiff, connected and hope-filled. So, uh, Nina, would you be willing to say more about what it felt like to feel your light when there's so much darkness in the world? Holly, just what I needed. Mariana, feel safe and calm. So I, I invite you, if you're not already, like just looking at the faces on the screen. You're very precious people. And It means a lot that you're here. 
now kicking off our community's first event. It takes courage to show up to a space when you're not sure what's going to happen. Some of you, like me, don't like to be the center of attention. Grace, the light is everything that exists. It's beautiful. Hetty, I feel a lot of sadness and grief. I can feel my light also, but so much more is needed. I feel lonely and sending light to the world. I feel connected. Hetty, you're not alone in feeling a lot of sadness and grief. And I'm glad that you can feel your light also and Yes, we all need to really feel that. And, and this is an invitation for us to hold both our, our sadness and grief and whatever darkness we feel along with the light. We can do both. Mm. Um, I felt my light flickering. Flickering. Um, and then a cold um, came to me while I was uh, doing my devotional time in the morning. Yeah, last week it said strength is not measured in good times, but in bad. So my light is still on, even though it's flickering. Your light is on, even though it's flickering and. Strength is measured in hard times, not in good times. Those are very hard times, and it takes strength for us to be here. And I'm glad that you're noticing that your light is flickering, because when it's flickering, it can get bigger if you focus on the flickers. Yeah. Christina, warmth, consolation, hope. Lewis, when I get in touch with my light, I feel peaceful and warm and my tears are flowing. Oh. It's my first time meeting you and I'm so glad you're here. And it's now 12.22 a.m. in Hong Kong. Yeah, thank you for inviting us to having such a wonderful meditations to get in touch with ourselves. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being here. And this is going to be a weekly event. I haven't posted further invitations, but I hope you will join me every week. So, uh, Juhi, awe inspiring to come to a realization that in this fast world, I'm a source of light. Juhi, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're recognizing that. And. Ali, I missed my friends during meditation, but I felt connected to them. Ali, invite your friends to be here next time. So Ali is from Iran. And it's a tough situation in Iran right now. Grace, I felt myself embracing everyone who's lost someone in this war, holding them tight, surrounding them. It's so beautifully stated, Grace. So I'm going to wind our meditation session to a close. And we have a 10 a.m. speed friending session. If you're available, please come back. It's going to be really lively and fun and connecting and deepening. It's not your typical getting to know someone. You're going to get deep inviting questions and you're going to get to meet five or six people in our community. So look forward to seeing you during meditation again next week. And I hope to see you at our speed friending event in about half an hour. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, morning for us and evening in other places. Bye-bye.